Castle of Jerusalem's Gate. Well, we all know that uh, the Houthis claim responsibility for the Saudi Arabian uh, uh, oil refinery uh, attack. Uh, Saudi Arabia is playing their cards close to their hand if they're going to uh, react or not. Uh, it's not if, it's probably when. Uh, the video we're fixing to show you is... Uh, U.S. Go, it goes in detail about U.S. sending troops to Saudi Arabia. Not many, but uh, some troops as uh, probably a show of force on uh, on our side in protecting uh, our uh, zeal to protect Saudi Arabia, which r rightfully we should. Saudi Arabia is a very close ally of ours. Now, will Saudi Arabia counter an attack if they found out? Found out uh, which they believe that it was Iran. Now, Houthis are, are claiming responsibility, but Houthi is backed uh, tremendously by uh, Iran, as we all know. And, uh, you know, it's my personal opinion. I think that Iran is uh, allowing, either has their hand, they, they got their hand in it some way. Uh, the uh, drones uh, prove that. Uh, I think. Iran is pushing or trying to push the button of Trump so close to the United States presidential election. Iran knows that President Trump does not want to enter into a war, particularly so close to the 2020 elections. They know that and they're pushing they're pushing the buttons uh, of President Trump uh, in hope probably that he would do something where opinion in the United States would drop a President Trump and therefore try to get President Trump out of office because President Trump and Iran has no love lost between them as we all know. Uh, you know, it's, 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 I tell you, it's got Iran written all over to my opinion. That's my personal opinion. Uh, it, you know, the technology, who these uh, developing that technology and using that technology, that's, that's not a, a possibility, but uh, using it is, I should say, but developing it's not. It's got Iran written all over it. But uh, got a video from Euro News talks about the uh, U.S. Uh, sending some troops as pretty much a show of force. Uh, not a lot, uh, but uh, some to show of force. Now, we waiting on pins and needles uh, how Saudi Arabia is going to counter, if in fact they do counter. Now, Saudi Arabia does not want a war with Iran, uh, but uh, again, not to sound redundant, Iran knows about the elections in 2020, and they are uh, if they're going to push the uh, envelope, they're do to do it now, uh, where they have a uh, Trump's uh, one uh, uh, arm tied behind his back, be it that it's so close to the elections. It's uh, it's got Iran written all over it, but. Uh, no one knows 100% sure. That's just a personal opinion. Uh, be it that the Houthis, uh, they claim responsibility. Iran backs the Houthis in Yemen, as we all know. So, but here goes uh, the video. Uh, it's coming up right now. Thank you for tuning in to Jerusalem's Gate. And here comes the video. The United States says it will send hundreds of more troops and military hardware to Saudi Arabia and the UAE but it's describing the move as defensive in nature. Drone strikes on key Saudi oil installations last Saturday have reduced the flow of the world's oil supplies by about 5%. This is the first step we're taking with regard to responding to these attacks, and again, for the reasons I outlined, to help the bolster the defenses of uh, Saudi Arabia and provide equipment to both the Saudis and UAE. A second, to, uh, uh, to uh, ensure the free flow of commerce through the strait, and third, to ensure we protect and defend the international rules-based order and try and convince the, uh, uh, the um, Iranians to get back on a diplomatic path. Both Saudi Arabia and the United States have blamed Iran for the strikes, but have yet to retaliate. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called the strikes last week an act of war.